All right, nobody asked for this, but hello again. Today, I'll be giving tips to improve better in Project Smash for beginners. These tips are actually for beginners or for those players who haven't known these types of basics. If you're new into my channel, please like and subscribe. Uh, Discord server coming soon. So yeah, these tips are basic movements, classes, and just not to die in every 30 seconds. So yeah, let's get it. Let's get it. The first category is basic movements. And I'm not gonna explain what the fuck is WASD and mouse clicking is. Just like every battle gun game, here's blocking. This allows the user to counter the opponent. Some class abilities can break this, so that'll be the next part of their basic movements. So yeah. You have no idea how blocking can actually save you if you know how to use it correctly. This is really helpful if you want to attack or counter an opponent. Knowing how to use this can be a lifesaver as it is sometimes unpredictable and land a combo. Dashing can also be helpful when escaping a situation, just like your kids. In this game, you can jump in the air 3 times, use it wisely. This is really helpful if you want to escape a combo or for recovering. You can do this by jumping or double jumping because there's two types of jumping in this game and it has a cooldown and pressing M1. This mechanic is very helpful for extending combos or you're preventing people from recovering. The way of extending combos is landing 3 M1s, double jumping, and pressing M1. Immediately dash and land an M1 again. It's possible unless the opponent dashes back or just counters you, so you need to be precise. Stopping can also prevent opponents from recovering if they're in the edge of the map. Let's just try not to die 101 using all of your strength and ability to get back to the map, only to realize that you're going to fucking die anyway. As you progress through the game, you might buy classes based on your free will and free choice. The classes go from D to C tier, but this doesn't affect the overall performance of all classes as higher tiers are basically just more complex. Ahem, <coughs> fucking wrath. It just depends on which class you like. You need to understand how these classes work and their abilities. This is some of the reasons why blocking doesn't work for the most part, due to abilities that can penetrate the blocking. Knowing the classes and its downsides and upsides can also be helpful. Knowing that this class has small attacks, bad range, long ranges, uh, long durations of abilities, and slow attacks. There are a million ways to use classes in this game. All of them having counters, American type shit, anime type shit, and some interesting ones. I'm not gonna explain what combos are, I'm pretty sure a majority of you knows what a combo is but they are basically using one or more abilities on one character doing more damage. There are different kinds of combos depending on what class you're using, it scales from versatile to being a fucking brain dead when you're using so yeah. If you wanna learn combos, search it up on YouTube or just wait for me to make a video about it. Knowing how to counter is like a death sentence to an opponent. Common counters are usually from these three classes for now, Boxer, Knight, and Rogue, since they have a built-in counter ability. But there are other ways to counter if you know the class well and who are you dealing with. So you can turn the favor to yourself. The common ones are how slow the abilities of some classes are. If your Wi-Fi isn't acting shit, then you can have a great time countering these motherfuckers. In order to improve more with all the stuff that you learned so far, you need to practice and just play normally. The more you die, the more you learn that little bit of effort is being put on every time you fucking die. <laughs> Learning combos can be easy as it will be in your muscle memory and then just become an instinct to your senses. You can practice it into this dummy. Moreover, you can go to rank if you're prepared to do what you're doing. You can also experiment other abilities because this is a free game and people are pissed off for having broken ass combos after the nerf. <laughs> so overall this guide this guide I laid down for you new players. I hope it greatly helps. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like. Till next time, see ya.